Well, we've got some time for some email questions from you, so let's, let's get started. Let's get okay. started. All this right. first one comes from Heather Gordon, who says, I was reading Hebrews 6, 4 through 6. I have tasted the Lord's goodness and then found myself going back to a way of life that is contrary to his teaching. I've never denied Yeshua as sovereign over all. My failures are my own. I was so hoping to finally be set free from my insecurities and addictions as I grow weary of my life. Reading that it is impossible for those once enlightened to be renewed to repentance discouraged me greatly. I also have I've read nothing is impossible with God. Am I hopeless or does Yeshua still love me? Now there, God still loves you. That particular passage in Hebrews uh, talks about if you fall away, if you've once tasted, uh, you've been filled with the Holy Spirit and then you fall away, uh, it's impossible to renew you again uh, into repentance. Um, that passage uh, has a controversial history in uh, Christianity. Martin Luther thought that the entire book of Hebrews should be excluded from the New Testament uh, because of that passage um, and it, because it differs uh, for some things that Jesus spoke about. Theologians attribute that to you fall into full apostasy, that you deny Jesus, you deny that um, he was raised from the dead. Um, but when you look at the four Gospels, Peter denied Jesus, and Jesus came to him and restored him three times to match the three times that he denied him. Jesus talked about the prodigal son. That's a member of the household. That is a son uh, with full inheritance rights who left uh, and spent it on riotous living. Uh, Jesus talked about the, the tax collector who stood at the back of the temple and just said, beat his chest and said, Lord God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Well, let's look at all of those verses instead of that one verse from Hebrews. Let's look at all of those verses. And particularly if you have a besetting sin, if you have a compulsion, you have an addiction, that's what, it, that's what your uh, um, message talked about. If you have that, uh, here's something from recovery that, um, you know, when you, when you fall back, when you slip, when you fall, well, that's actually part of recovery because it teaches you how good it is to be in God's presence. And so come to him and say, restore to me the joy of my salvation. Have the same prayer of David. He sinned greatly. He murdered. He committed adultery. But he said, Lord, restore to me the joy of my salvation. You pray that with all of your heart, you'll get the answer you're looking for.